hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our parkour actions so as you know that in our environment we have these two boxes of different heights okay so now according to the height of these boxes we will be performing these two parkours we will be adding more parkour actions in the upcoming videos okay so don't worry about that we don't have just two parkour actions but for now we have these two things and two animations right here so we will be performing each of this animation according to the height of the obstacles so first of all let's create a script inside the parkour folder let's name this as new parkour action let's open this in visual studio code right here let's remove this start and update method and this script will not be a mono behavior it will be a scriptable object okay and then at the top let's create a asset menu so we will say create asset menu okay and then in the round brackets we will give this menu a name so we will say menu name equals to okay so first of all we will type parkour menu and then inside the parkour menu we will be having an option to create new parkour action okay so make sure that you do this then save the script get back right here okay so this is our new parkour actions we created a asset menu in it so now if we right click right here and click on this create and now right here you can see the parkour menu and inside the parkour menu we now have this option which is create new parkour action so as i told you that we will be having more than two parkour actions so that's why we created this menu specifically for adding more and more parkour actions according to the needs okay instead of just hard coding and creating a different script for each of the parkour okay we now just have a simple parkour menu in which we can create a parkour action like this okay so for now we don't have anything inside our new parkour action so let me actually delete this and inside the new parkour action script what we will do we will create a serialize field and this will be of type string let's name this as animation name then after this we will create two more serialize field the first one will be of type float by the name of minimum height okay and then the next one will be of type float as well and this will be maximum height okay so now if we get back right here inside the scripts folder let's create a new folder by the name of parkour actions okay and now inside this parkour actions let's create a new parkour action okay and let's name this as jump up okay and now if you see the jump up right here it needs a animation name the minimum height and the maximum height so if we click on this animator right here the we have a animation which is by the name of jump up as well so guys don't confuse in these two this is the parkour action name and this is the animation name okay so right here let's type this jump up name right there and we can set the minimum and maximum height for this jump up parkour action so then when we play our game and then whatever object that is on the obstacle layer matches this minimum and maximum height then the player will automatically perform the jump up animation on that or you can say the jump up parkour action okay so this is the main reason why we created this parkour action menu 
okay so now i will tell you how to set up this minimum and maximum height so if you click on our player then open up this character controller right here our step offset is 0 0.4 so make sure that the minimum value right here is 0 0.5 now and the maximum should be let's just say 0 0.9 so now whatever object matches this height value the player will perform parkour on that obstacle okay for now we don't have any code for performing the parkour okay we will be adding that code but for now i am explaining to you how our parkour actions will work okay so we have created a parkour action for our jump up animation now let's create a new parkour action for our high jump up so we will also name this as same so high jump up you can name this whatever you want but then make sure that the animation name you type it exactly like this okay so we will say high jump up okay and for the high jump up which is this one now the maximum i mean the minimum value should be higher than this one this maximum value of the jump up so right here we will say minimum height should be one and maximum should be let's just say 1.5 okay so now whatever object in our environment matches this minimum and maximum height then we will play the high jump up okay so now uh, these are the parkour actions which is set up now what we want to do is to type a code for the parkour actions so that the player can perform it in the game so now in the next video we will be performing parkours okay let's end this video right here